Welcome back to another episode of renovating our 1961 vintage Avion camper. In the last episode, we started installing the subfloor, but due to rain, we were unable to finish as planned. Today's episode starts where we left off. All right, floor is done. Well, actually it's not. So the last two days, I went ahead and finished up the subfloor and it has been easier after my first day because my first day was trial and error and it was rough <laughs> so anyways i figured it out i got it finished up i'm super happy um so all i lack really is to continue to screw it down to the frame yeah so you started screwing in yesterday but you yes. didn't have enough well there's the yeah. larger screws well yeah the larger screws <laughs> because there's two beams on the outside of this frame that are really thick so i needed to get a better um metal screw to screw into those so yeah. i got that today so that's what you're about to do, mm -hmm. that's um, what I'm about to do and now. then because to make it easier basically he had to put the subfloor in in sections right and so there is gaps just small gaps um from where it's not together but also it's not perfectly level um the screwing it in will make it a little bit more level but we're right. just gonna do a little what is the putty yeah, it's like, it's just a wood putty yeah, to so, fill in the gaps. So I got this right here. Um, I'm going to put this in a bucket with some water and uh, start doing that after Wade starts screwing in mm -hmm. the subfloor. And then, once we're done with that, we have another, what's the thickness of that? Just a 3 8 thick sheathing to go on top of it to make it nice and smooth yeah. all the way across the top. Yeah, so we still have a little bit of work. It does look nice though. Like Remy's been in here playing. Yeah, we can um, actually walk around. We can walk around and not feel like we're about to fall over or balance. We have to balance ourselves on the frame. So improvement. Um, yeah. yeah, the rain messed us up last week. We didn't get to finish like we thought we would, but we definitely are gonna finish this week. Yeah. Um, we have some pretty days ahead, and Wade's been killing it. So. <laughs> <laughs> Change it up on me. Sorry. So, Wade just read the instructions on the water putty. The bucket, we don't need this. But I can sit on it. <laughs> um, that's about as much use as it's going to do for us. But uh, we're just going to use, it says small quantities because it dries quick. So we're just gonna pour it in here and go from there. Can I just like do this yeah. maybe? Oh wow, it's powder. Look at that. Okay, so basically this is gonna be three parts of this powder and one part water. I actually think I'm gonna get a like half of a cup scoop scooper to scoop it in so we can kind of measure that out okay so i've got my scoop oh i'm making a mess Remy thinks it needs to be involved all right i wonder if i need something smaller just to mix it hold on one more okay let's try this one more time got a painter stick let's put this over here in there Ooh it's taken everything I have to mix it oh sorry, sorry. It's taken Remy hope it don't dry that fast as it's taken forever just to mix ready to go in there and give it a try yeah because it looks like it's drying really quick so cool let's how this works. <laughs> Come on, let's go do it. Um, 
to do everything that we needed to do. So yeah, we're chilling it dry. I'm tired. Wade's tired. Um, he did a lot more work than I did today. Um, but yeah, as of yesterday's work, today's work, and if we can just knock the rest of it out tomorrow, maybe. Yep. We'll be done with the floor, or at least the subfloor. Um, we'll be done with all, well, other than the. Yeah, what yeah, we're gonna put on top of it, but yeah. So that's so exciting. Like this whole time we've been in here doing this, Wade's just been saying how excited he is. That's basically what pushed him through on this hard work today. Remy's sad because he can't come in here and he's been in here playing, but this is all nasty and stuff. So we're just gonna let it drop and we'll see you tomorrow. As of yesterday, the majority of the flooring is done. We mentioned that we would have to go back over with a smaller, like 3 8 CDX plywood on top. Just something smooth and thin to just make sure it's a little bit more structurally sound. Um, so I think that's what I'm gonna work on today and try to knock it out quickly. Wade finally finished the second layer of the subfloor yesterday so I'm about to go in with some of this putty that we used last time and go in the cracks there are not as many cracks to fill in this time because um, he tried to keep it all together as possible but he did have to break up the boards just a little bit so we're gonna go in and fix that with this um, but look at how much we used last time that's crazy it goes to about right here um, but we won't need as much today just because um, but I did want to share with you guys so a couple of weeks ago I sealed the inside of the camper with some Luxol and I didn't have enough footage to make a whole video out of it but I did want to share that so while I'm doing this I'm gonna share that with you guys for today's project I'm gonna be working on sealing up the inside of the camper and all I'm gonna need for this project is a caulk gun a couple of tubes of Luxol and some rubber gloves So my original plan was to start at one end and make my way to the other end, but I didn't do too good of a job at that. That really didn't matter as much since the clear coat was more visible than I originally thought it would be. My approach was to seal any structural beams, ribs, windows, vents, skylights, and any holes I saw. It took me several hours and after many breaks, I got it done. We have a few weeks before the walls go up so we can add more coats if it's needed. <sighs> Alright guys, as you can see, I have used up all of this. The whole container of uh, the powder is gone. <sighs> it's actually feeling like a camper. I'm so excited. Um, everything is filled in as far as cracks. There is cracks all along the outer layer of the shell. Um, and that's just because Wade's going to be putting the metal wall into place and he wants to go it all the way. He wants it to go all the way down and then he'll fill in um, that. I don't know if he's going to use this or not, but anyways. <sighs> I'm so happy it's done. Um, I actually thought I was going to run out, so I'm really glad that I got what I needed to get done without having to buy some more and uh, holding up this project any longer. The next thing we're going to be working on is the freshwater um, tank, getting all of that situated. It's going to be so exciting, but Wade's going to be working on that tomorrow. I will do what I can do to help. Um, but yeah, that'll be for tomorrow's video. Thank you guys for following along and we will see you in the next one. Bye!